Okay, this is gonna be a bit of a redo because I need to redo Golden Shack. So I kind of want to redo the first few cell videos I made because they weren't very good in retrospect and I've learned a lot about the heists and etc since then. So I kind of want to redo both of them. They touch the Sky one and Golden Shack one. Um, but for the most part this video will be quite similar to the previous one. The main difference is I'm going to be using the elevator access asset um, which you should probably be using if you want to solve this um, anytime you have access to it. In the current version of the game you only have um, assets uh, after completing random heists. Um, that might change in the future, but in the current version, if you have access to the other access, I'll probably recommend it. Uh, I just realised I did this without really thinking or explaining anything, so let me start by going back outside. Uh, before you even go into the bank, you can look through this window, and if you see that guy there, you know that's the right room. If that guy isn't there, by the way, you might notice I didn't actually do that, I just kind of went into autopilot and it's only opened that room. Uh, if you don't see the guy in here, then the correct room could be over here uh, and here's a fun little uh, mechanic for you if you hold a micro camera um and you crouch near the bottom of the door you can place the camera on the other side of the door like that so you can place the camera on the other side of this door here the branch manager's office and you can look inside and if you don't see him then it's not here either uh, and if it's not in that room or in that room then it has to be over there so uh open this door here um and then it's at the end of the hallway um there's a door on the right that might have a new another qr code in it if that room doesn't have a qr code you'll know if it has a qr code because there'll be lockers if there aren't lockers then um you can try this room over here for another qr code or the hr office which i showed in the original video before um all of these methods for um, other ways of finding the correct one we found. So obviously there's these lockers here, there could be a phone in these I believe? I might be wrong on that. Um, but I think there can be a phone in here, there might not be. I'm fully sure, this might just be a room that's full of money. Anyway, you can get money from there. Um, if that doesn't work then you can go through that door over there and I have to go all the way around to show this because uh, I did not open that door. So, There's a guard. um, the other place you can find a QR code is all the way over here. Hey, you. Restricted area. Uh, right down here. You can get one here as well. Uh, and if you opened the door up there already, uh, then this staircase will lead straight down here. You don't need a QR code to open it. So if you're already on this side of the door, you're not then you can just go over here, go down says, get that QR code, and then open the door over there. Like I said, that door there can also have lockers in it that will have a phone. A so there's a few different ways you can get the phone for that one, but if the key card isn't over there, or over there, then it's in there. Let me continue, friend. I think there's also a QR code back there actually as well. If you can get around there, I'm pretty sure there's a QR Yeah, there's one over there as well. The QR code that spawns in the behind the teller's desk. Uh, so we open that. We enter a random code because why the fuck not? Uh, and then we run past. So this is something I only learned recently. If there's no plaque here that says IT department, you can ignore this wall. Uh, also, this guy over here can have the blue keycard, and it looks like he does. Um, so this grey suit guy, I think I called this guy a black suit guy in the last one, but it's quite clearly grey. Um, there are actual civilians that walk around with black suits, this guy is not wearing a black suit. He can have the blue keycard. Um, the blue keycard can also spawn, if it doesn't spawn on him. It can spawn over here, right here on this desk. It can also spawn... Uh, let me just open this room real quick. Uh, also, server room can be here, or it can be in the other room I walked through over there, that door over there. Uh, the other spawn point is... if this guard wants to let me through. Uh, right here. Uh, that is another keycard spawn point. Um, there is another keycard spawn point. 
<laughs> which is uh, one that I learned about the last time I did a video doing this. And I haven't seen it spawn here since, but it can spawn here as well. I might be on this side. I think it's here, though. Um, so if you don't see the keycard on uh, the manager, it can be there, 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 or there. So as you can see, this room here is the IT department, so this is the correct room. Uh, you'll know if it's right because it has these sending desks and these like open computers in it. Um, so just start the hack, just wait here for the hack to finish. The other room, by the way, if it is, uh, if you go into the wrong room, it'll just look like a normal office instead of this kind of like mess of like computer stuff. Is that a GPU, by the way? It looks like a GPU. That is a GPU. Does that have a... That's a DVI part or something. What the fuck? Okay. DVI VGA, I always get them mixed up, but that's strange. Um... Anyway, do that. Go back over to the server room. Uh, Shed does say that civilians will see the hack. Uh, they don't. That will maybe get patched in the future. I have no fucking clue. Um, they really do not give a shit. Uh, if they do care about it, then I guess you just have to have someone deal with it. I don't really know how you would deal with that. Um, so, you get the code. Uh, one, six, one, two. As soon as you walk into this room, a guard will spawn a player and walk over to that balcony. Right there. You have enough time to activate that before he gets there and also open this room. Uh, fun fact, by the way, when you start heist, you don't start with max ammo. You start with a percentage of ammo that depends on the weapon type you're carrying. Uh, for assault rifles, you start with 40% of your max ammo. With uh, revolvers, you start with 80%. Uh, with pistols, you start with like 60% or something. It's really weird and inconsistent, but every weapon type kind of has the same thing. So as you can see, that's green. Uh, so put a QR, uh, camera down there. Now it's white. So you can kind of just walk through this room and not really have too many issues with it. I'm just going to grab rush from this guy. Uh, it was... Oh, hello. Uh, so if a guard catches you like this, you can do something like this and walk behind them and then hack their radio so that they're looking the other way and then they won't observe you doing that. Um, so the boxes always spawn in the same place, at least in the current version. There's well, they're kind of the same place. There's one that can spawn there. If it isn't on that wall there, it will be inside the hallway on the wall over there. Um, there's this one which always spawns here on this particular wall, in this exact same spot. Uh, so it's blue. Uh, and then there's always one that spawns over here in this hallway, but you don't need to go for this one. The only time you should ever go for this one is if you're in search, because this guard never moves. Um, this guard will always stand here, so unless you're in search, in which case he starts walking around. But this box uh, basically only exists for if you fuck up. Because if you do the wrong box, or if you pull the wrong colour on one of the boxes, um, it automatically puts you into search, and that guard will obviously start moving. If you're already in search, then it doesn't do anything. You basically just get a second try, and the box that you messed up, you cannot use it again. So that box over there only exists for if you mess something up, basically. Um, and then the final box spawns there, or it spawns on the wall over there. So, got that spawn, so... What colour is it? Green. And that's green. Make sure you read the interaction text, by the way, because sometimes if you're looking at them from weird angles like that, um, it will um, make you look at the wrong thing, which can be a real problem. Ooh, that's bad. That's actually really bad. Um, we're going hard mode, I guess. Uh, I was going to say earlier on... Uh, oh, later on, rather. I was going to say later. If you want to use the elevator access, I would recommend... Um, Avoiding that guy seeing you. 
because if you go and search, it makes the end part a bit more awkward, but uh, that's fine. Also, this guy being here is really, really... Well, uh, I will see you in like five minutes. Okay, so once you start this hack, um, assuming you're not in search, I mean, you can watch my like previous video if you want me to talk about how to do this not in search. Uh, I guess this is good because now you have two different things to pull from of um, doing this in search and out of search. Uh, it's just gonna have to wait more, really, is the main difference in search. That's kind of it. So like, I should go back upstairs now. I can do that, open that. It's unlocked. Open it up. Uh, so now at this point, uh, if you're using the elevator access, which is the whole point of this video, what the fuck is going on? Uh, let's take out the camera guy. As I said in one of the previous videos, uh, I want these videos to be feature proofed, which is why I'm killing them. That's why I'm avoiding using the bugs that take out cameras without killing him. So, um, there you go. Uh, Yeah, so once you have that done, you can start grabbing the bags. Uh, guards will see the open vault. I said in the previous one that uh, video that I wasn't sure if this was them seeing the gate or not, the open gates. It turns out it is the vault, so... Also, a uh, small optimization to be aware of here. I don't know if you care too much, but um, if you have the skill that makes you bag stuff faster with Rush, um, you should open these in a particular way that allows you to bag as much as possible without uh, losing rush like that. See there, I timed that perfectly with that. Uh, because as it turns out, the bag speed only applies to bagging stuff. When you pick up bags, it's pretty much the same speed regardless if you have rush or not. I don't actually know if it is different if you have rush or not, but it feels... I already have the service on to do that. So, um, yeah. Um, bag all these as fast as possible being careful to maintain rush the whole time, and then start moving the bags. So this is where this differs from uh, the previous run with our assets, because the elevator is open and this allows you to skip the whole going down the stairs thing. This literally takes you straight to the... Stop right there. Let me hack you, never mind. Okay, we're doing this extreme hard mode, cool. Uh, right then. So what I was going to say, I've totally fucked this, wow. Uh, <laughs> what, the, the, uh, the planned route for this that I was going to show, that I've been doing perfectly every try before I started recording this, uh, was to let that guy live, and then take out the two guards in the, uh, parking area instead. Because if that guy doesn't spot you and you don't go into search, um, you can kill the camera guy, answer his pager, and then he can kill the two guys in the uh, parking area, and that will put you into search, but you're already at the end, nobody goes down there once you're in search already, so there's basically nothing to worry about at that point. Um, however, because I've fucked this up, this is going to be a little bit different. Uh, so yeah, unfortunately I can't show you that unless I record this again, and am I going to? Maybe, I you know, probably not. Uh, but yeah, so once you get all the bags down there, the next part is the awkward bit. So if you were unmasked up until this point, um, obviously does sprint in this area if y'all, if, if that guy's still there, so you'll hear it go down to see the vault and then call in a search. Uh, so it's, you, it's pretty reasonable just to stay unmasked, or at least unmasked until you open the vault and then go kill that guy and then you kind of have an easier time moving bags. Uh, but once you fall down here, you will take fall damage, which will make you mask up if you haven't already messed up. Um, and there's no way back up without, um, going all the way through the bank again. So be very, very careful about these bags. You don't want to fall down early and then have to go all the way through the bank just to get the bags like into this hole because there's no way back up once you're up here. Um, so 
Once you're down here, this is basically exactly the point where we were at in the previous video, um, where you move the bags from that doll there, except this time it's from Zelda. there. Uh, because I don't have any pages, I have to be a bit careful because I can't really afford to kill any more guards, but uh, it'll be fine, probably. Probably. I should have to play this a bit more safe than normal. Otherwise you can, like I said, just kill both guards down here if you are in search already. Um, and you will literally be fine at this point. As long as you don't get caught by civilian, even if you get caught by civilian, you can just tie them down, I guess. So it doesn't actually matter that much, but um, yeah, just keep moving the bags. And then get that open. So the way that I like to throw the bags in is like I aim at kind of like the hinge of the door and then like aim quite high up and then sprint throw them like that. Sometimes I don't go in like that or you somehow hit the fucking door like that, uh, which is why I like to open the door that way if I can't. I didn't really stand up, that was weird. Um, I said that and now I can literally can't throw any bags in. <laughs> what an incredible video, wow. Huh? I'm really showing that I know how this fucking game works, that's incredible. Um. So yeah, in like around the hinge-ish and then just spring for it like that is kind of what I was saying. So like, it didn't let me stand up again. I Am I getting stuck underneath the door? It's the door handle. Okay. There's a guard. Yeah, you can see kind of like I'm aiming above the van and then like around kind of like where the hinge is and just sprint for them like that. And it's going in kind of consistently, even if it doesn't go in. Uh, it's not too hard to just grab them and then throw them in like this, and that's that. Uh, I do really want to do the uh, Touch of Sky video in particular because there's a lot of stuff in that video that's bad or not explained very well or what, what have you that I could have done better, but um, yeah, that's my redo of Golden Shark with a bit more information on certain things. How you can kind of do it if you fuck up, I guess, and also how you can use the elevator asset to speed up significantly. Um, along with some extra clarifications of previous things that I didn't know about or didn't explain, like the IT department sign. Um, that'll be it for this one. Uh, the next one will probably be a redo of uh, Touch the Sky, like I said.